Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief at theserverside.com and I want to quickly show you how to install Nginx and PHP on Ubuntu Linux. Starting off, the first thing you'll want to do is open up the terminal and do the compulsory sudo apt get update. Throw in your password there for the sudo command and then maybe do a sudo apt dash y upgrade as well and then that just makes sure everything is updated and upgraded and then control L we can start working on our nginx and PHP installation uh, starting off you might just want to do a little sudo system ctl command and ask for the status of nginx as you can see I don't have nginx installed and you know you might even want to just ask for PHP see if PHP is installed as well and you can see that neither of those services are installed so I guess the first thing I need to do is install them installing nginx is real easy just sudo apt get install nginx throw a little dash y in there so you're not prompted and boom all of a sudden engine X will get installed now you can also do that little status command again that we just saw pseudo system CTL status engine X and you'll notice that well engine X is now running I gotta say that I'm pretty happy about that I'm from Missouri though I like people to show me things so I'm gonna open up Firefox right here and make sure that engine X is indeed running now it may not have PHP installed in it yet but at the very least I'll be able to see if yes indeed we are able to gain access to the localhost address so let's go localhost and boom all of a sudden we get a nice little message that says nginx is waiting for us to give it some interesting files to serve up hopefully ones that use php okay well what is next well the next thing we want to do is install php now you could do sudo apt get install php but don't do that do sudo apt get install php 8.1 fpm now that tells uh, ubuntu to install the php fast cgi process manager now you could just install php but if you just do the install of php i'll click return right there apache gets installed and you don't want apache you want nginx not apache for your web server so if you install php 8.1 fpm the fast cgi process manager the dependencies for php get installed but not in a way that installs the apache based dependency so just keep that in mind make sure that you install php 8.1 fpm i think you can even just do php cgi uh, but make sure that Apache doesn't get installed. So again, I could do sudo system ctl status Apache 2. Make sure nothing comes up. That's good. Now sudo system ctl status php 8.1 fpm. That would be bad if this wasn't around. And you can see that indeed, boom, that is installed and that is running. So I have got PHP installed. I have got Nginx installed. I now have to do a little work to make sure that Nginx and PHP know about each other. So I'm now going to dig around and see if I can find an nginx configuration file. You'll find that nginx is installed under the Etsy folder, Etsy nginx. So we'll go into my computer, take a look at the etc folder. We should be able to see nginx. Now they've got it hidden in that crazy alphabetical order thing right here. But if I remember, nginx should be right around M and K and there it is right there and we have the nginx folder we need to go sites available and then it's this file here that we want to edit default now I'm gonna open this folder up in terminal and then just say a hey, sudo nano and open up that default file you could have just done sudo nano etsy nginx sites available default but I just find 
find this is a little bit easier. Now we're editing with Nano, so be patient. There's a, you know, it's not as nice as Notepad++, but it's not too bad either. You'll notice that there's a lot of configuration already in here that's commented out. Uh, we have to make a couple of changes. So right now we need to set that one of the index pages will be index.php. So you want to add that in. Don't add that first. It has to go after the initial index directive there. So that's step one, adding index.php in. Now you'll notice it also says here, look, um, if you actually want to pass PH scripts to fast CGI, well, uncomment a few of these lines. So first there's that location line and you'll notice that that's got a curly bracket there. Whenever I open something with a curly bracket, I like to make sure that curly bracket's closed. So you want to make sure you've got the matching brackets there, but we want to enable this line, include snippets, fastcgiphp.conf, and then you can either do this one or that one. I'm going to do fast CGI here. Now I'm going to uncomment that I did install fast CGI, boom, 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 8.1. So you got to make sure you got the right version configured over here. So that looks good. Now I'm going to come over here and if you know the Apache, we're doing Nginx here, but if you know Apache, it's got all of those HT access files. If you want to just make sure that those HT access files are ignored, you just kind of throw that in and I'll do a deny all on the HT access. So is that all configured? Everything looks good. Well, it looks pretty darn good to me. What I'm going to do at this point in time is do a little control O command to write that file out, click enter. Then I am going to click control X to get out of nano, do a control L to clean up the screen. And then you also want to do sudo engine X dash T to validate the file. If you, if your fat fingers missed a character, spelled something wrong, the sudo nginx-t command will tell you right away. Now it does tell me that the syntax is okay and a quick test is successful. So I have to say, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, now in order to get that file read, you're gonna have to stop nginx. So I'm gonna do a sudo systemctl stop nginx command. I'm gonna do a sudo systemctl start nginx command. Both of those looks like they ran properly. So I'm pretty darn happy with that. We could have done a restart too, or a reload, I mean, but you know, hey, why get crazy here? Now, finally, if we want to test the installation of PHP in Nginx on Ubuntu Linux here, we're actually going to have to go in and create a PHP file. So I'm going to go into the computer here. I'm going to go into var. And then I'm going to go into whoa, 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 www. That's where all of the files for engine X are that it's going to serve up specifically this HTML folder here. And I'm going to open up a terminal window. Now I'm going to need to write a file to this folder. So I'm going to have to change the permissions just for a second. So I'll do a sudo chmod command and just throw 777 in there. I know systems administrators are mad at me for doing that but I just want to make this easy for now. Uh, so this will now make it possible for me to add files into this folder and I'm just going to use a, an echo command to add a file in here. I'll say echo a little php info method which will force the screen to print out that php information screen table in html that looks really good. So I want to echo that, but I want to echo that into a file named info.php. So I'll click enter and I'm going to click control C because I forgot an end quote there. <laughs> you got to make sure you take these things in properly. There we go. I'm only human. So echo php info into uh, an info.php file. 
do a little ls command you can see it there you can even do cat info.php to see the contents of that file and you can see it's just php php info and then ending that php file but that's right there in the html directory alongside that index page in theory if i open up firefox go to localhost and now say info.php if i click enter well boom all of a sudden i now have a file that requires that PHP interpreter to run. And you can see here that, yeah, we're using fast CGI. We're running on Linux. We've got everything configured here. It is version 8.1.2, it looks like. And I gotta tell you, I'm pretty happy about that. We have now successfully configured Nginx to use PHP on a Linux Ubuntu server. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to theserverside.com. I'm the editor-in-chief over there. We've got lots of great tutorials on Nginx, Apache, Docker, DevOps tools, Ubuntu, Java programming, you name it. Um, if you're interested in my personal antics, why don't you follow me on Twitter, at CameronMCNZ. And finally, you know, if you enjoyed the tutorial, I don't I don't want to beg, but um, I'll ask, why, why don't you subscribe on the YouTube?